I was chit-chatting with Mighty Ohm today about the Commodore 64 DTV project. This was the C64 in a chip that I designed in 2003 for a toy, which was a joystick that had 30 built-in games. And uh, as we were chatting, a question came up that I'm asked quite often is, why didn't I do a follow-up, which was an Amiga in a joystick? And in fact, I did. I made a prototype and showed it to the toy companies, and we were pretty close to producing it. So this is an Amiga 500 that I used to develop the Amiga on a chip core. So this is a developer board that I originally designed for the Commodore 64 project, but it had all this extra I.O. So I hooked this into an Amiga 500 and I started removing the chips from the Amiga 500 and replacing them and sticking them in this FPGA to get ready for making the full custom ASIC. I had it going to the point where I was still using the 68K processor and the disk interface off Paula, but everything else was replaced and done in the FPGA. I showed this at the Think conference in, I think, 2004-ish. And uh, some of the original Amiga designers were there, and they were very excited about it. And uh, it was a, quite an honor to show uh, this to them. Uh, some of them, uh, not at that conference, but uh, an Amiga engineer slipped me the schematics to the original chipset which is very handy. Uh, helped me figure out a few bugs. So like here's the RGA bus coming in and here's an and or uh, decoder matrix and then here's just different parts in the chip that's decoding. The RGA bus was this kind of cool feature that it was a side channel that addressed all of the registers and Paula, I mean Agnes, could go through and twiddle different bits on the side channel in the, the custom chips and the CPU didn't have to intervene at all. And they could spread the logic across a couple uh, chips. In fact, it was much easier to reverse engineer the Amiga, um, even, even having the schematics, I mean, that helped a lot, but uh, the Amiga was a far more straightforward design than the original C64 because they didn't have to do as many uh, naughty tricks to make things work. So there it is. That is the Amiga on a chip prototype. It's definitely not going to work. I mean, there's I had a mezzanine card here that somehow hooked into there that's gone, and, and some wires are broken off. So there's, there's not a chance this is ever going to work again. Um, instead of doing the Amiga on a chip, I worked on a project to make the Williams Home Arcade Machine, which had, I don't know, a dozen classic Williams games in it. So I, I made an ASIC for that and some uh, colleagues here in Portland that already had an emulator for Williams ported their emulator over to work with my chip and we shipped the uh, home arcade machine which flopped big time although the gameplay was uh, very accurate. Anyway, I thought you guys would like to see that um, since I get asked a lot about the Amiga on a chip and there it is. This was going to be the Amiga on the chip.